So you've got a Kindle Fire, but you're a little tired of looking at that bookshelf and you're not a big fan of that Silk browser and you want to be able to use some of the apps that you can use on your Android phone. It turns out you can by doing something called sideloading. What sideloading is, is when you take an app, some program, that is not in the Amazon uh, App Store, but is in the Android App Store. So on your phone, you, you, you take an app, which looks like this, and you uh, can download that from the store, or maybe it's already on there, and via a program called Astro File Manager or some other manager, you back it up onto the device. Then you connect your USB cable to the computer, copy it here as an intermediate step, connect your Kindle Fire to the computer via USB, copy the the Android app backup file, an APK file, and then you use a program called Easy Installer which you download from the Amazon App Store on the Kindle Fire and that will allow you to install most programs on the Kindle Fire. It doesn't work for everything but it, it, it works for a lot of things. So let me first throw this up in case you just want to see the instructions. And then the easiest way to do this is actually just to go through a series of, uh, of pictures. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the Easy Installer app on your Kindle Fire first from the Amazon App Store. On your phone, your Android phone, you're going to download an app called the Astro File Manager. Some apps I recommend getting are Go Launcher. It's a user interface that's much more like what you see in the phone where you've got sort of the home page and you can swipe to the left or right and have different icons. It's much better than the uh, the bookshelf in my opinion. Screen Filter is a really good app if you ever want to dim your screen more than the lowest setting. It puts sort of a filter across and you can control the transparency and get it really dim. It's good if you want to say read in bed or something like that. I like Opera Mobile Browser but there's also something called Dolphin which some of you may know from your phone. It's a great app to sideload over. So once you've downloaded the Astro program back on your phone what you're going to do is you're going to look at this area right here application backup you're gonna hit that and then sorry for the fuzzy picture you're gonna put a check next to any programs that you want uh, to get over your Kindle Fire you're gonna hit the backup button which is over here then you're gonna connect it to your computer notebook desktop doesn't really matter your computers going to see it as a drive and what you're gonna do is you're gonna to navigate to something called apps and then once you're in apps, you're going to see, now I've sideloaded quite a few apps, you might only have one or two, but any that you want to get on your Kindle Fire, you're just going to take those and uh, you're going to copy those from your phone. And then you're going to paste them on your computer, it doesn't matter where, I put them on the desktop here. Then you go ahead and disconnect your phone. You can use the same cable, it's just a mini uh, or rather micro USB you're gonna connect it to your Kindle Fire. Now don't forget to log on. Your computer will not be able to read this until you've logged on. Then you'll get this screen. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna simply copy any of those program files, those APK files you just uh, copied over to your computer and you're going to move them or copy and paste them over to your Kindle Fire. Doesn't matter where. Then you can go ahead and disconnect the Kindle Fire. Look for an icon that looks like this or in your apps. It's called Easy Installer, that program that you downloaded. And once you launch that, sorry for the really fuzzy picture, you'll see all of the APK files that uh, you've moved over. And you're gonna check the one you want. So in this case, uh, this was where the Dolphin HD browser was for this example. And then you're just gonna hit this button to install and follow any uh, messages. And then you're going to smile because you're done. Now you have the Go Launch, and you will then have a much, much nicer experience um, as far as a, a user interface with the screen. I'd show you, but the pictures really didn't come out that, that well. Uh, let me just pull back up the step-by-step -step instructions. Like I said, I recommend using Go Launcher. It's kind of a user interface if you want to get away from the bookshelves. It's going to feel much more like your phone. I recommend... <laughs> anything but silk. I really don't like that browser. It crashes a lot. 
I like Opera. I like Dolphin. The screen filter is really good for dimming your screen. You'd be surprised how often that becomes an issue. And then really any program you want that you can't download from the Amazon App Store that you can get from the regular App Store, you can try to port over. They don't all work. Um, I should mention that the uh, Kindle Fire is built on 2.3 gingerbread so in principle anything that's compatible with that should be compatible uh, but I have had some apps that don't come over uh, good luck and enjoy your Kindle Fire